I had a really hard landing on my last landing, so Disarmed. Armed. hopefully the gear doesn't fall off on this flight. Uh, let's see. All right. Checking the motors. They're both spinning. Yeah. Alright guys, so on this flight, my plan is to demonstrate the features of iNav such as return to home, uh, navigation hold, and I think the other one is loiter. So it's kind of cool to have these features. I think of them as like my emergency features in case for some reason I lose video or you know something weird happens in the air fail safe um, if everything's done correctly these features could save my model so let's see all right at the end of the runway we've got a, a 10 mile an hour wind blowing out the south uh, right down the runway I'm gonna drop those flaps to half flaps flaps half I am flying with a new radio. I've upgraded my transmitter to a FR Sky um, 18 X18RS with the module in the back. Let's check those ailerons. All right, ailerons are good. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this gear holds up. There we go. Gear up. Flaps up. All right, flaps are up. Yeah, so I like this new transmitter. Um, I had the jumper, I think it's T15 before this one. And I really do like that jumper transmitter, it's really nice. I just wanted to get something a little more premium and to give me some features because I plan on flying some turbine jets uh, in the future. And I wanted a radio that would work out a little bit better for that. Some of the FR Sky telemetry. Uh, there's a guy I think it's uh, Xavionics makes some really cool telemetry modules for King Tech turbines, and that was some of the reason One minute. why I upgraded to this uh, transmitter. And I am flying on Express LRS. I do have a module in the back um, on this for this uh, particular plane. Um, but yeah, so this transmitter is good. All right, so give you guys an example. I'm here. We are at 400 feet. Let me get down a little bit lower so I don't go above our altitude ceiling. And I am going to hit the return to home now. Return to home. All right, so I am not flying the model. My hands are off of the sticks. I do have the return to home on a momentary button so that if I get into trouble, I can just press and hold that button. The um, FR Sky X18RS has two momentary buttons that can be assigned to anything on the back. So if you guys look, it says it's in route to home and what should happen is that when we get back to the runway it should begin a loiter so we're going to test that and we're going to see what happens here two minutes there we go and we are loitering around the one runway don't like flying over the runway like this but the guys already know that i'm going to be testing this uh, are flying over the pits, but they know that I'm just doing a test on this to make sure it works and um, Yeah, I feel like it's working perfectly So I'm still holding the button and you can look in the bottom of the OSD. It's basically saying what uh, what it's doing All right, so when we start to turn back west, I am going to let off of the navigation button and now I'm back in control or let off the return to home button so now I'm back in control all right so that is pretty cool that worked beautifully all right so I am going to come around and I'm going to try the Three navigation minutes. hold I think it is I have not used it before so this will be a first time I think it's just going to keep an out attitude of wherever I have it pointed but I'm not 100% sure so we'll go right here. You get down below that ceiling. All right. Navigation cruise on. So navigation cruise. So I believe it's just going to cruise in this direction. It'll stay going that way until I turn it off. Navigation modes off. Yeah, it worked pretty good. So let me turn around. Wow, I am. I never really fly out this far. 
over the woods. Let's try it one more time. Navigation cruise on. There we go. We are cruising. Okay. Then I believe I have a loiter. Navigation loiter on. Four minutes. So now it's going to loiter over this position where I set it. And yeah, you guys can see it loitering. So it has full control over the plane. I am not flying anything. The INAV system is currently flying the airplane. Yep, and it's loitering over that position. Working great. At 270 feet. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. They'll fly around and just look and not be the pilot. All right. Navigation. Turn that off. On. Navigation modes off. We'll work our way back over to the runway because I am getting close to um, fully depleted on this battery. I usually can get to about 4,000 milliamps before I really need to start focusing on landing. I am going to have to make sure I get a good landing here because that gear is very weak from Five the last minutes. landing. So I'm going to try my best to set this baby down gentle. All right. So, gear down. Gear down. Flaps half. Flaps full. Stall. Gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. There we go. Very gentle landing. All right. Oh, that was a good flight. I was able to demonstrate return to home, navigation cruise, and loiter modes on INAV. And I'm sure you guys can come up with scenarios where it could be beneficial in your flights. Disarmed. Timer 1.